What's up guys, this is Agent Junior with Sensity Outdoors and today I'm going to show you guys how to make ceviche out of Sprite Bass. It's a delicious recipe. This is actually a catch and cook. I went out with my friend Matthew. We caught a bunch of Sprite Bass and I'm going to show you guys how to make one of my favorite recipes. But before I show you guys the cooking, we got to show you guys the fishing, so enjoy. Welcome to Sensity Fishing, hunting, and the great outdoors. So right here at Lake Mead, I brought my friend Matthew out fishing. How's it going? And we're out here using live bait. Let's see what we can get. We just got here, uh, it's about 8 o'clock right now, we drove out to the lake. We uh, spent a couple minutes trying to get some shad down there, but we had some difficulties using the uh, the net trying to get some shad but right now we're just uh, in this area right here we got a couple bites we caught one striper right now so we'll, we'll see what else we can get looks like a heavy one you need net or no yeah take them there Like a big one. It's a pretty light rod, but yeah, it's a good one. Yes, he is. Let me see. Hold him up. That's a good that's eater. That's right there. Yeah, that's that's good. Guys, doing pretty good right now. All we're doing is we were catching some shad and throwing them, uh, just freelining them, no weight, nothing, just a hook, some fluorocarbon. You just cast them out like this, pretty gentle, not far at all, and just give it a lot of slack. And when you get a fish, they'll take the slack real fast and just bite them in. That's what we're doing, and we're doing pretty good here. How big? Yeah, I'll make a taco or two. <laughs> Let's go, Matthew. It's your turn. You got a hook up? Yeah. That might be why. Hey, nice catch. He's a little on the skinny side. We can keep him up. <laughs> nice one. This is probably one of the smallest stripe we caught today. Look what we found in his stomach. And there's no holes in it, so it wasn't used as our bait. That was one of the ones he ate. That's pretty crazy. All right, so now that you guys saw how Matthew and I caught those fish, we're gonna go ahead and get to cooking right here. Show you guys the recipe. So we're gonna start off with a jalapeno, a cucumber, an onion, a tomato, a knife and of course your fish and we've got a lot of lemons here and some garlic salt so first off what ceviche actually is is it's not actually cooking a fish what you're doing is you're soaking it in lemon and the lemon will actually cook it for you so it does take a bit of time but I'm gonna show you guys a delicious way to cook it right now so for the amount of fish we had I realized I didn't need so much so I cut them down a little bit and I'm gonna cut up this stuff right now so now that's all chopped up I use this to chop up the onion and the, the pepper. Cuts it up real fine, it's a little chopper. So now it's time to cut up the fish. I'm gonna add all this to our bowl we have right here. Make sure you get it all, it's pretty good. So now we're gonna add the fish to our cutting board and we're gonna start cutting up the fish. Make sure when you cut up the fish, it's about a little less than half an inch squares. Uh, we do eat it on chips, so in order for you to eat it on chips, it has to be fairly small. And that's how we like to eat it. So 
So now that's cut up in a bunch of tiny little squares, we're gonna go ahead and add this to our bowl. So I'm gonna just cut these lemons in half right here, and I'm gonna squeeze them into this little bowl we got. I don't want the seeds getting into our ceviche. So all you do is squeeze them in here, and then later on, you're just gonna take all the seeds out and then pour all the juice in your bowl. These lemons have a lot of seeds, but they're real juicy. They're from my grandpa's farm in California. Uh, we have hundreds of them right now. He gave us a bunch, so we're using them. And they sure are good. See all that juice that comes out of them? It's literally one and a half lemons right there. I can't find my sifter right now, so I'm gonna just pour all the lemon juice through this little noodle thing I found. So. Hopefully this will take out most of the seeds. Let's try it. Seems to be working. So we use five lemons right here. As you guys can see, it's almost covering it all. Uh, the lemon's actually what cooks it, so you are gonna want it to cover the top. We're gonna use a three to one lemon to water. You don't need completely lemon juice. You just don't want enough water to um, kind of strain out the lemon. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to it just to cover the top. Once again, a three to one lemon to water. As you guys can see, it is covering all the fish. That's what you want, because the fish has to cook in the lemon. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this stuff up. Make sure it's well mixed and all under the juice. So the ceviche is actually done right here. Uh, this is all it takes to make a regular ceviche. Uh, you're gonna want to let it cook for about three hours or more. That's our little rule we do You might be wondering why I didn't add the garlic salt yet. Um, I let it cook first because if you eat it right now and taste it You, you might get sick because the fish is still raw So we wait till it's cooked We add the garlic salt so we can put the perfect amount in there and you guys also can actually add avocado But if you add avocado right now by the time it's done cooking it will be real soggy and just not not as delicious as when it's freshly cut so you add it after you're done cooking and then go ahead and enjoy it with some chips so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the refrigerator and leave it in there for about three hours also at about an hour and a half you're gonna come in here and mix it up a little bit just helps it cook more thorough so after you wait the three hours and the ceviche is done you're gonna go ahead and get yourself some chips that you like to dip with eat salsa with or whatever just some chips and then you're gonna go ahead and add your ingredients to the, the ceviche and enjoy. I already know it's gonna taste good. I can't wait the three hours because I gotta get this video posted. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.